Greetings, everybody. It is the Doctor. Welcome back. We are going to continue leveling Ensign Ricky from 50 to 60 in the new Delta Rising. We are going to start the next mission, but I found something in my inventory which we had not unpacked. One of our mission rewards and one of the missions past that we did was this personal reward, EMH Mark I. It's an epic inventory. It's a doff. And I remember that I was going to open it on screen so that I could show you what that doff is all about. So now that we're here and I have it, let's do it. Double click doff. And it's the doctor. It's the EMH Mark I. And for some reason it calls him a nurse. Which I guess that's the stat they have to give it. But obviously he's more than a nurse. It's a ground, uh, it has a ground ability, I, I should say, a chance to activate an EMH Mark I when using a hypo. On the use of any hypo, it provides a chance to activate an EMH Mark I who will heal you and your allies for a while before deactivating. 25% chance activate on EMH Mark I to provide medical support. So there is a nurse doff that does the same thing where um, if you like use a hypo, there's a chance that this nurse will just appear beside you on the ground and she will heal you. Well, this is like that, except it's an EMH Mark I. So it's gonna look like the doctor on the ground and he's going to heal you. Unfortunately, it only activates upon using a hypo. So uh, not a lot of people use hypos. Um, and the reason is some of the sets includes abilities, for example, the, um, what set do I have on? It's the adapted Mako set that I have on, it includes this ability called an Adrenal Booster, which uh, it, it, right there gives me plus 590 hit points over 5 seconds and uh, more melee damage or whatever. But it's basically, it's going to give me more health. And then there's the other one on the Mako set that buffs your shields. So one is health and one is shields. So with those the kind of things built into some of these gear sets, hypos aren't as necessary as they used to be a long time ago. So unfortunately you will only get that doff on the ground. If you have it active, you have to have it set as an active power, obviously. It has to be an active ground doff. And uh, then when you use a hypo, there's a chance you'll get an EMH Mark I nurse beside you. So there you go. If that is of interest to you, it was a mission reward. I forgot which mission rewarded it, but it was a mission reward. All right, in the last video we did, what did we do? We did Know Your Enemies, which was a bunch of patrols. So now it's time to get back and do a mission mission, a fun mission. Uh, this is not a patrol, I believe. It's called Capture the Flag. Team up with the RRW Lassette and confront the Vaudoir. The Alliance needs your help. A group of Alliance ships are currently under attack by the Vaudoir in the Orlita system. The Lassette is making its way there to render assistance. I want you to back them up. We don't know what the Vaudoir have there, and I want to give us the best possible chance of victory. Travel to Orlita's system. A reward will be a career-specific Mark 13 reward. So let's do that then. I'm glad to be getting back into missions instead of patrols. The missions, uh, the storyline missions are very entertaining and further the main storyline. It's transwarp straight there. And I guess I've got to go way down here. Nothing else has changed since the last video. I just did one run of Mirror Invasion to get my Mirror Invasion done for the day. And uh, I am further furthering along the reputation. Currently active right now. It's going. I'm up to 661 Delta Marks. That's really going to help us uh, get up to Tier 5. And then uh, 
we'll be able to, I'm hoping it gives us a reward at tier 5, like 750 marks or whatever. And then I should have enough to buy a piece or two of uh, Delta Alliance gear. I'm interested in the in all things. I want the ground set. Um, you know, there's a ground armor, shield, and weapon. I want that. There's the space set. I want to uh, play with. Um, so there are all, there are there are things I'm interested in obtaining in the Delta Alliance reputation. It'll just take time. Now we just wait, sit back and wait. To car sector block. Since this is a ground mission, I will put on my new Intel Stealth uh, outfit that I have. That's entertaining. Still on cooldown. Oh, we got a long way to go. Come on. I made the red alert. You hear that in the background? How did I do that? There it goes. <laughs> oh boy. I'm, yeah. Let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, oh no, yeah. Where are we going? We're going to Orlita's system. Let's do this thing. Capture the flag. Glad to have you by our side. This is one of the systems marked for further examination during your work with Subcommander Sehen. Sehen. I'm not sure what the Vodwar are up to now here, I know how to say but it. they're fighting like demons. They're attacking a small group of Alliance vessels. More hostile ships are on the way. I propose we divide and conquer. The Lisette will fly ahead and catch any incoming ships, while you free our trapped allies. Alright, rescue Fox. disabled alliance ships. So we have some kind of alliance. Sehan. Okay, now I know how to say her name. I was so confused over how to pronounce that name. Subcommander Sehan. Sehan, Sehan, Sehan. I gotta put that in my brain. Alright, good idea. The, we will rescue the trapped ships. Which apparently are flying toward us. There we go, that was a good hit. Okay. Repair ally ship. This is now a, uh, the Vaudois will know the fury of the Gorn. It's a Gorn ship. Interesting. So well, there are definitely other species from the Alpha Quadrant out here in the Delta Quadrant. Gorn. I believe we saw uh, another alien species. Forgot what it was. Target 
This is a Federation ship, Starfleet. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. All right, now let's rescue the third. It's a Talon battleship. Oh, it's one of these artillery vessels. They're pretty difficult. That was a good hit. Good, okay, there we go. Vodwar fleet just arrived. This is our chance to strike before they retreat. Well, if you say so. Is everybody else coming? They are slowly. Oh, there's the little set. I've got a um, scimitar helping me. She has been disabled. She has been disabled. Oh no. Still got one more to go. Good, okay. The explosion killed three of my shuttles. No! I feel sorry for those pilots. They were just caught in the explosion. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salan, Chief Intelligence Officer for the Lasset. I regret to inform you that the Vaudois now control the ship. The bridge is lost, and we are locked out of most internal sensors. However, I managed to access a secure comm channel before the security codes were changed, and have located a safe location for transport. 
I have sent the coordinates to your ship. Without your assistance, the Lisette and her crew will be lost. I'll, spe I'll speak with my crew. We have a lock on Lisette on Lieutenant Salon's location, sir. We can transport you and a small team over whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's, um, I can say not now. I don't know why I'd want to say not now. Let's help him. Get to take all of our bridge officers. There we go. The ship is swarming with Vaudois soldiers. Our security forces are attempting to engage them, but as of yet, we have not made significant gains. I am unable to contact other members of the senior staff, but I believe they are still alive. <laughs> Very coincidental, really. Our current situation is remarkably similar to my invasion scenario 4591. When you are ready, we can go over our plan of attack. Um, invade, well, okay, let's ask him questions. Invasion scenario 4591? Scenarios, plural. I have gone through several hundred holodeck simulations of various factions attempting to board the Lasset. As the designated intelligence officer, it is important I know what to do in every scenario. The Vaudois simulation is incomplete, but they are acting in accordance to several other scenarios. If you are wondering, I do have a scenario that deals with your crew boarding us. I would enjoy talking to you sometime about how to improve your vulnerabilities. Wow. Okay, that's very Borg of you. Why are we in Commander Jarok's quarters? The Vaudois are jamming transporters and communications. My holodeck simulations determined the commander's quarters is one of the places where interference would be the weakest, allowing me to bring in outside help. The other areas, if you are curious, are the secondary control room, storage room 10 beneath engineering, and, well, I shall leave the final one a surprise. I'm gonna guess it's the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, what is your holodeck simulation? Scenarios, plural. Okay. I have got- We need to retake several key areas of the ship. The security team here will capture the bridge. Meanwhile, your team should storm the med bay, which we are very close to. Dr. Kratark should be there. After that, we must retake the armory to prevent the Vaudois from resupplying. In the majority of my scenarios, Lieutenant Terrell is there making a stand against the invaders. After that? From there, we need to see whether the Vaudois perform like Scenario 4591 or Scenario 3291. Though, perhaps they may surprise us and be more like 6895. Uh, my apologies. We do not have time for my idle speculation. Any questions? What will you be doing while we do all this? I will remain here until we have recovered the majority of this deck. If your crew should be killed in action, I will need to remain free and contact another ship for aid. It's not my place to get my hands dirty in this, especially not after the incident in Scenario 2792. Um... Okay. I guess that's what we're gonna do then. He's an interesting fella. He's just gonna stand there and look out the window as we risk our lives. Okay then. I imagine there's going to be Vaudoir out here. Who are you? Assist injured crew member. That's good. We can help the uh, Romulans on the ship. There's a lot of them. It's too late. The crew member is dead. Oh well. We tried. Apparently I can't help this one at all. You must stop this meaningless massacre! Consider the balance! Sounds like a Deferi. That's the one who defied Gaul! Enemy Kill them all! Enter. You're darn right I defied him. You... Oh, you, you have my thanks. Such reckless slaughter! It is a Deferi.
Oh, oh th- thank you for the rescue. The Vodwa have no respect for anything other than their own selfish goals. I'm... I'm sorry, but I cannot help you any further. I am just a civilian scientist, not a trained killer... Oh, a trained soldier like you. <laughs> I'll I'll wait here until everything has settled down, unless you believe there is something I can do. Check to see if anyone here is alive, and then bring them to the med bay after my team secures it. Uh, Yes, that is more than acceptable. I will not fight, but I can help restore the balance by helping others. I will attempt to stabilize anyone who needs help here, and then await word from you or the doctor that the med bay is safe. Very good. Stay safe while we move forward. Okay. Come on, people. This way. Follow me. What are you looking at? Why are y'all in there? Come on. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Thank you. Do your worst. Hello. You're amateurs compared to the tall Shiar. I will not sit by and let you take this ship. Thank you. Let's get to work. <laughs> well, that was fast. All right, hello. Glad to see you, but if you came here instead of the bridge, it means you're following a plan made by Gaius and his scenarios. The equipment here is still operational. I'll begin treating the wounded. There's a console nearby you can use to contact the security team heading to the bridge. Um, how do you, uh, she probably knows, he probably told her what the scenarios are. I've watched enough of Gaius and his scenarios to know that he would never count on a single team success. He'd send someone else to the bridge. And I also know he's made a few modifications to almost every console on the ship, including that one. Nothing happens in my med bay without my knowledge. Okay. Good timing. We're about to storm the bridge. We'll keep the channel open during the assault. I'll contact you again after we have control. Understood. Good luck. Oh, I guess we get to watch the assault. That's neat. It's just one Vaudoir. What makes you think you will succeed where others have failed? He sure can take a shot. One, two, three, four, and he's... Uh... Well, that would have failed. Holy crap, that Vaudoir is strong. Apparently, he just walks up to people and knocks them out. And apparently, phasers have no effect. Or disruptors. Okay, that was interesting. You should have taken Gaul's offer. Okay, uh... I imagine we both overheard the same thing. Very curious. I've run simulations where the security team failed, but none like this. We should continue with the plan. We have this area secure, and you are the only mobile unit still available. If you can recover you and her team in the armory, we will have another opportunity to retake the ship. I'll head to the armory and find Lieutenant Terrell. Boy, that Vaudoir looks very strong. If if, If I'm the one that's going to have to deal with him... Yeah. All those people firing phasers couldn't deal with him. 
All right, take turbo lift to armory. I don't want to miss healing anybody if there's people to heal. I imagine there might be an accolade or uh, or something if you like heal everybody. Mm, there's a lot in here. Thanks for the help, I guess. We should talk strategy. We should. Who are who's talking to me right now? Ah, uh, you. Bah! Bodwar. I'll take down every last one of them, I swear it. Nobody makes me look like a fool. I guess I'll let you deal with a few. I can't be in two places at once. We have problems in the brig and in engineering. Tell me what the situation is. Cyanel and his team are pinned down in engineering, and Commander Jirok and Sub-Commander Merrill are in the brig. I'm going to hit engineering. If the Vogwar get control of the Singularity, we're done. Think you could secure the brig? I'll secure the brig and free Commander Jirok. Apparently that's what I'm doing. Turbo lift to brig. I did get an accolade. Flagship down. So there you go. Scan everybody. Delay them. I Enemy need more time. Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. Ow, I'm dying. Disable the security grid, and we can get out of here. I would love to. Where is it at? I see. Thank you. What's the situation? Everybody is in trouble. You're a welcome sight. I was on the bridge. We were attacked by just one Vodwar. But he was different. Stronger. Unstoppable. 
He wiped out our security team, but he knocked Var and me out. Put us here for questioning. What's happening? Do we have control of the bridge? We have the med bay and the armory. Lieutenant Terrell is in engineering, but the bridge is still contested. Is Zionel there? If he and Ju can hold engineering while we take the bridge, we can take control of the ship and then clean up the Vaudoir from there. I'll, I'll still need some time to recover. You and Subcommander Merrill should head to the bridge. I'll stay here and monitor the situation. Be on your guard. The Vaudoir that took that bridge shrugged off our attacks like they were nothing. He won't go down easily. Is it wise for you to remain here alone? I've dealt with worse. I'm just not particularly mobile at the moment. I'd just slow you down. Secure the bridge, but watch out for that Vaudoir. He's like a force of nature. We will take the bridge. Commander Jurok requires our assistance. Oh, hello. Go to the bridge. Right, that's where I was going. Do I need to do anything with you? I guess not. Bridge. Okay, I guess we're gonna go up against the big, big bad Vaudoir. Vaudoir boss. See if I can heal any of these people. No. They are dead. He's gone. Strange. Well, he's not gone. He's somewhere. But we do have the bridge. Excellent work. We have control of the ship's life support, navigation, and weapon systems again. According to the logs, the Vaudoir leader was attempting to open fire on your ship. Doesn't look like he could get past Lieutenant Salon's security algorithm. I'll handle things up here, but could you use that console to contact Lieutenant Terrell? Tell her to scramble her security teams and find that Vaudoir. Okay. So they were going to use this ship to fire on mine. Engineering, there's the Singularity Core. If you want to live, you'll give me what I want. So Riemann. I've survived worse than you. You have no idea who you're dealing with. He's dead. Was this all a trick to lure us away from engineering? What are they trying to... No, he couldn't. I fear the worst. If the Vaudoir is in engineering, he could turn off the shielding protecting the Singularity Core. Without containment, the Singularity will implode. Stay here and keep the bridge secure. I'll go to engineering and stop the Vaudoir. Okay, now we're going back to engineering. We're going to engineering. Come on, everybody. I imagine this fight's going to be pretty, pretty rough. This way. Nowell and I have a plan. Oh. Very predictable. If the Vaudoir can't use the Lisset to attack other ships, they will make a statement by destroying us with our own singularity. I've analyzed the data from other teams fighting the Vaudoir. It's pointless for you to try to fight him. Your weapons are inadequate for the task. However, Narrell has come up with an interesting theory that may work. What is the theory? The vents in the Singularity Core carry a modified version of plasma. I'm not cleared to give you all the details, but the Lisset is testing several advances that have not been provided to other ships in the fleet at this time. Narrell believes direct exposure to this modified plasma may create a vulnerability in the Vaudoir. I believe this plan has a low chance of success, but it is the best option we have. If you can lure the Vaudoir beneath the vents, Narrell and I will overload them, causing the plasma to cover the Vaudoir and weaken him. You'll have one more problem to deal with before that, however. 
What problem? The Vaudois has erected a shield around the Singularity Core. Very smart, I must say. No one will be able to affect him when he is inside. You must trick him into dropping that shield. I suggest playing towards the Vaudois' pride. That is usually the surest way to convince someone to make a suboptimal move. Once that is done, lure the Vaudois beneath one of the vents. We'll activate the plasma, and then you can properly knock out our friend. Are you ready? Well, okay, so I've got to actually convince him to drop down the shield. Then I've got to lure him into vents, and then I can take him down. I guess it'll weaken him enough to take him down. That's pretty complicated for Star Trek Online right there, that series of events. Let's see if I can convince him. All right, I'll confront the Vod War and stop him, or can't we just transport the Vod War out into space? Yeah, let's just do that. That'd be a lot easier. <laughs> that was the first thing I tried when I arrived. There is something preventing us from locking transporters onto any of the Vod War. Not uncommon, really. I have observed that many Starfleet officers also carry devices that prevent them from being randomly transported. If I find a way around the transporter block, I'll do as you ask. All right, understood. Confront Vaudvoir Overseer. So, time for the time for the boss fight. How do I get out of here? Where is the door? Why can't I find the door? Um, is this the door? That's the door. Okay, that is not where I go. This is where I go. Okay, well... Your ship is doomed! <laughs> Your ship is doomed! So apparently I need to get him into the red circles. Oh, there's lots of red circles. Okay, good. See if I can heal anybody else. Nope. I'm always impressed by that singularity core. You made it. A shame. We had hoped you would be neutralized by now. But you show an unusual resilience. Perhaps that's why Gaul made his generous offer. Slow We're down there, Reynard. to stop what is happening. The Singularity Core's overload has already begun. We will all be destroyed by your greatest weapon. It's almost poetic, really. My bridge officer is freaking out over here. She's had too much coffee for the day. Where is your pride as a Vaudoir? You have to use the Singularity to kill me. Ah, my pride as a Vaudoir. That's good. Very good. This is simply the most efficient way. I could kill you all one at a time. But I have better things to do. But I'll survive. I can transport myself out of here at any moment. We all can. Your jammers are down. Interesting. Abandon the Lisette, or will you stay until the last glorious second to try and save it? Regardless, I will admit you make a point. You've survived too many of your previous encounters for me to leave anything to chance. I will enjoy seeing the last bit of life leave your eyes. Learn to live with disappointment. How do I drag him? Yeah, I'm doing like no damage to him. How do I drag him over here? Swallow to the plasma. Focus your fire. Just like that. <laughs> okay, that's how we do it. We just literally get him to follow me. Where's another one at? I 
Oh, we're doing some damage to him now. He's recovering. Storm Storm back to the glass with the focus of fire. Guess I had him in the right spot for that one. It's time to finish this. It'll take more than that to kill me. Holy crap, this dude. What's he made of? I will not be stopped. We need a better solution. Set your phasers to vaporize. How about that? How's, how's that for a solution? <laughs> I've got just the thing. I have no idea what just happened. What was that thing? I don't know. We need a better way to fight it. I'll get to work. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Totally confused. Thanks for the help with the bog bar, but we won't need it again. The next time, we'll be ready. I'm going to drill my security teams until they can deal with anything. War between the Klingons and Starfleet ended and people got lazy. Time to get back in shape. Did you make that experimental concussion grenade? We could use more of them. Nice, isn't it? Honestly, there was an even chance that it would cause a massive explosion, crack the Singularity Core, and kill us all. I figured we'd be dead if we didn't try it, so why not give it a shot? Good thing it worked, huh? <laughs> I like my answer. It's just goodbye. We will not forget what you did for us. Lieutenant Ceylon will work with Neryl to learn more about this Vaudoir. If there are more out there like him, we're going to need more than luck to fight them. We need to know more. Why was this Vaudoir practically invincible? He wasn't like any of the others we faced helping the Kabali or the Torre. I hope we can help find an answer. It's the least we can do. Let me know the results of your analysis. Haven't taken a hit like that since Obasek and I were fighting the Tal Shiar. Gonna be sore in the morning. But the Singularity is stabilized. That Vodwar tried to lock us out of the containment system. But he wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Thanks for your help. Next time we're in a firefight, I'll do more than just lay on the ground unconscious. Looking forward to it. Thank you for all your help. Without you, we would have lost the Lissette. It's unfortunate we couldn't capture the Vodwar alive for questioning. He was unlike anything I've ever seen. What made him so powerful? I don't know, but we need to find Neil out. did manage to get a few scans. He's compiling a report on what he found and your success with the plasma. We'll need to adapt. We can't count on throwing every Vodwar like him into a Singularity Core. We will handle the repairs. You should return to your ship when you're ready. I will. Good luck Commander with your Jean, repairs. I have some preliminary data for you. The Vardois gave off a modulated carrier wave every time he was attacked by an energy weapon. In effect, he reflected the energy outward as infrared radiation. Owl and I are not yet clear on whether this is a product of biology or technology, but he did show strange isoboramine neurotransmitter activity. Regardless, this will give us a starting point to find vulnerabilities. I'll send on more findings as we complete them, and we should be able to adapt our weapons to be more effective in the future. The next time we'll be prepared. Return to my ship. Well, that was a very interesting mission. Let's turn this in and then, then we'll talk, super talk about it. A super This is the Vardois. first time I'm hearing of it. You've done the Alliance quite a service today. Losing the Lisette would have been a major blow to us. And the Vardwa know that if they're resorting to boarding parties. We'll get the best scientists in the Alliance to analyze your combat data. 
With any luck, we can discover a way to hurt the Vardwa the same way Picard discovered how to fight the Borg. Well, that was a very out of the uh, blue uh, connection there. Okay, well, we got a Mark 13 specific reward. Or this, but I don't know what it was. What was it? What is it? We get a mechanic kit module. Mark 13. And somewhere I got an, an engineering kit, Mark 13 Armor Threat. Not that I will use the kit or that kit module, but um, it's nice that uh, there are there are Mark 13 rewards with the mission, finally. Anyway, um, very interesting mission there. So we've got a Vaudoir out there who is extremely strong and powerful and practically invincible to phaser or disruptor fire. That's interesting, and that's not like the other Vaudoir. It seems that one's a little special. So, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, genetically modified? Uh, I could see that. If my, theory, if my theory is true about the Iconians influencing them in some way just to cause chaos or unbalance the quadrant, maybe they've been buffed by the Iconians or something, you know, to, uh, or at least that one, to make him, like, stronger so that he can just cause destruction and chaos, which is what the Iconians want. They want us to fight each other. It's pretty much like, um, oh well, close, not, not, not precisely like, but close to that kind of storyline in Babylon 5. Uh, the whole idea of this, uh, it's a little different, but there's this whole idea that, that, that one of the first ones wanted us to, I'm trying not to give away too many spoilers, uh, wanted us to fight amongst ourselves pretty much to improve the species was the goal there, but, uh, you know, the strongest survives, that one, that one is worth it. Um, and they, ma they, they made us fight each other, their fight, all the different aliens fight each other. And that's kind of what the Iconians are doing, is they're making, they're wanting everyone to fight each other. So they could have buffed the Vaudoir a little bit just to cause chaos and make that happen. I don't know that that's true. I don't know if that's the answer or not. But there's definitely an added mystery now, not just have the Vaudoir advanced much faster than uh, they should have, but now we've got these almost invincible Vaudoir. I don't know if there's more than one, but at least that one is was practically invincible. So more mystery uh, and layers to add on to the storyline. I like that. It's going someplace that I have no idea where it's going. And I like that. I like a good mystery. Okay, so that was a good story mission. That was very good. Um, the next one is called Dragon's Deceit, and apparently that is a big mission for this new series of in Delta Rising, the Dragon's Deceit. Opens up the ability to do bug hunt STF uh, and other things. It's a pretty big mission, so I'm guessing we'll find out a lot of information there, maybe. However, we cannot do it until level 56, and as you can see, I'm not even halfway on 55 right now. I'm close to halfway 55. So I've got a long ways to go to get to 56, so we can't play this mission right now. But what we can do is go back to Kobali Prime and do all the missions that have opened up to us now at level 55 and 50, or 54 and 55. We can go back and uh, do the new ones that have opened up and uh, just do everything, or just do all the missions that we can until it says we can't do anymore. And that will help us get some skill points as well, and I guess further... Uh, further along the Kobali Prime storyline, which in a way will parallel this main storyline somehow, some way. Probably. So we will do that next. A couple of Kobali Prime missions, or however many we can do. And then if I have to, I'll do some grinding just to get us to 56. And then we will do a line, well, we will do Dragon's Deceit after that. So expect some Kobali Prime, a couple of Kobali Prime missions. Uh, coming up next is what we will do. So thank you and stay tuned for the next one.